Have you ever struggled with bending and wrapping stuff around the objects? I'm talking about the way you need to manually adjust the meshes so they don't overlap. Ugh. You ever got shrink wrap that makes the job a bit easier, but it's still annoying as shit. Until I found out about this new tool, which is super cool. This tool basically replaces all that. You just drop your mesh on the other and it automatically sticks and flows perfectly along the surface. No UVs and no weird setups. And here's the cool part. It actually comes as a modifier, so it fits right into Blender like it's built in. Nobody will ever know. You just add the modifier and it works immediately. It also works in real time, so that's cool. In this video, I'm gonna show you how it works and how you can add stuff to your clothing or anything real fast using this modifier. So firstly, go to the link in the description and download it so we can begin. I brought in a set of clothes. I want to make a belt for the dress and a pocket for the jeans to show you how easy it is. First thing first, we need to install it. Go to edit, preference, add on and click on this thing right here. Then install from disk. Click on surface deform and install it. Enable and disable it cause sometimes Blender messes up. Shift A and add a plane. Rotate and scale it down on the Z axis. Now we're gonna strap this around our clothing. Let's place it somewhere really close to the waist. Since we don't have any polygons, we can't really wrap it around anything. It cannot bend. So let's go to edit mode, Ctrl R to add some edges in the middle while rolling out the mouse wheel. And maybe a few more horizontally. Now in order for it to work, we need to select the strap first, then select the clothing second. Then in the modifier settings, click on add modifier and if you've installed the add-on correctly, you should be able to see the surface flow in the bottom. Once you've added it, the strap should be wrapped around the waist. It looks weird now, but don't worry. In the settings of the modifier on simple, we only got quality settings. By increasing it, we get a better bending over the surface. But be aware that it gets heavier the more you increase it, so play around with it. If you move over to the advanced tab, we get much more options. As of right now, our strap is inside our model. We have this offset option. Once you enable it, you can use the slider to take it out of the clothing or squeeze it inside. You can also use the other options to adjust the distance. Now why does it look weird? Cause our strap is way too long for our waist. So let's press tab and go to edit mode. Press A to select all, then S and scale it to make it shorter. We can adjust the size inside the modifier. I was just gonna show you how it changes the shape in real time. Let's add a solidify modifier so we can see it better. As you can see, the front is weird. Geometry got distorted over on the edges. To fix that, we can switch the method from unified to phased. For irregular shapes, it's better to switch to phased. Then adjust the distance a bit so it sets right on the waist. It looks rough, so right click and shade smooth. Then Ctrl 1 to add one subdivision. Now it looks really nice and smooth. No overlapping with the object. And also there is not a single part that is floating in the air, which is really great. Moving on to the next tool, which is a spread. By changing the X value, we can simply adjust the length of the strap. And by changing the Y value, we can adjust the height of it. No need to edit the model in the edit mode. In the options section, we got the project. If we decrease it, strap kinda unwraps itself. And X or Y wrap unwraps the strap to where it was before, based on the axis. And obviously you can animate it. Strap is not aligned with the waist. We obviously need to fix that. So if we rotate it to the side, we can simply just rotate the model outside of the edit mode. And it will sit right on the edge. For example, we can even change the actual shape of the strap and add elements to it. Like these creases in the straps. And it doesn't affect the belt one bit. It. Or if you want to add those holder thingies, we can use our existing mesh to extract two faces and make it to something that looks like that. And it immediately sits on the clothes. Then we can use the offset settings to take it out. And here's the example of how you can change the shape and see the results in real time. Now we can duplicate it and just use the transform slider to just move it along the lines of the strap. Moving on to the jeans, let's make some pockets real quick. Shift A and add a plane, rotate it and place it on the back of the jeans real close to the buns. We can add a cut in the middle, move the bottom points to the bottom, extrude the outside edges so we have an empty spot on the inside. Maybe a cut horizontally. If it sits rotated or weird, you can switch the method to faced. See how it's reversed? It does that sometimes. You just need to go to edit mode and rotate it 180 degrees on the axis so it's reversed. But it is still reversed in the solid mode. So get out of the edit mode and maybe disable the visibility of the modifier and rotate it 180 degrees. Now it should be okay. Let's add few 
few more so it has more flexibility, maybe a small thickness. Then you can simply duplicate and place it on the other side. It doesn't care. We can add some buttons and maybe extrude some parts inside to make small pockets. Look at that smiley face. Or even make it look like something that could be an armor. There you go, you can even make armor with this tool. There's no need to mention, obviously you can apply these modifiers afterwards to get the final results. And that's it, go and experiment yourself. And be sure to check out my Gumroot and Patreon page to download the real-time tutorials and the cool add-ons I've made that are really useful for character creation like iForge and Haircard Studio. All the links are in the description. See you on the next one. Peace.